like literally like 20 minutes before I can come out of the Animus. Well, what, what does your character even do out of the Animus? I get pulled out occasionally just because of, like I've progressed far enough in the story like that something happened in the real world and you don't need to keep frequently checking in and out. This one. So. Like, what what happened in the real world? So far. Um. Your old assassin buddies from, uh. Your time as Desmond are, uh. Kind of like working undercover at Abstergo. And they're kind of making you, uh. You know, that's literally not long enough any way to actually touch that. Just, yeah, you just need to play with the three at the bottom. I don't think the last fourth one at the very top is... ...then you use. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right? But yeah, fucking, they're helping you, uh, or not helping you, they're making you sneak around and start going, digging up information that they need. What, what are they offering you for doing that? Not ruining your life. Oh, they're threatening you? One guy is. Them, personally? Sean and, uh... Can't remember Rich's name. Jesse or some shit. <laughs> Sean and Yeah. I don't know why Jesse sounds Col so you. Sean and Cole Prince Jr. Yeah. Alright. Okay. While I'm at A for the scene, I'm gonna stretch. Doing their squabbling bit, but some other guy, some unfamiliar voice over a headset, is telling you to go do stuff. And he keeps giving you clearance to go into restricted areas. Totally Desmond. It's not Desmond. Desmond's dead. Hey, maybe he's part of the Animus now. They did an autopsy on him. And the voice doesn't sound remotely. As I said, he's part of the animus now. Maybe he's poking his voice. They're using the DNA to live, relive his life through other people. And their huge, huge spiel is that they're trying to. <coughs> or at least this branch of Abstergo is making like it as like a virtual movie. Like you live it as a past. An assassin life? Or a life of a pirate. I think they're just doing this as a method to make an army of assassins. A bit of both. They said they were gonna... Like, they're telling you this at an employee. So, they're obviously lying. <laughs> right. Obviously. They're, what they're really the after is the observatory, the location. What's in the observatory? It has... That's the place where they were in part 3, right? Uh... It has the power to see... Um... Oh. Information or locations or what anybody else is planning, essentially. It's kind of like a fancy-dancy fortune teller device. Yeah. It's fucking minority report. Why the fuck? Desmond's, like, whole entire family was in a bunch of bullshit. Because Desmond's history is... Well... 
Baptisma has a long line of really important assassins. And they all have some great secret. Like, they couldn't just been. This guy is just really good at killing people. Well, assassins and Templars have been fighting over artifacts of Eden for, like, ever, dude. Since the first game. Since the first assassin. Should've did this shit before. And this is obviously another item of Eden. Is the last one got fucked over. Well... The reason you were looking for it was to save the world from a, an event that was happening over again. The reason the Templars want it is, well, to control the world. Right. Did, did they even want to save the world while trying to control it? Or they, they were like, no, nah. Well... They thought launching an apple into outer space on a satellite was the way to do it. Which is just a fancy way of saying, no, they just wanted to control everyone because launching an apple out in outer space, the apples give control over people. It's kind of like a domination effect. Because everyone hates you here. Where I think I'll get my mind things. I'm gonna have to go find. It just keeps getting rocked. More. Islands. As we go. Can't do the story line. Her magic was gonna make it. Seriously. Seriously. Three shock waves. They just don't want me to have Gogo -Go in this final fight. Jesus.
the fuck are you running? Cast their fucking ultimate. You really just absorb both of those, Celis? You little shit. I didn't even see you do runic. That's bullshit. Good, she only absorbed one. Who's the guy with the scar on his face? Guy with a scar on his face? Must be. Cool mystery. It was one of the first Templars. One of the ones that were there when you betrayed. There. Well, you never betrayed the Sessimer, you were never with it. Where you fucked over the assassins. Yeah, Kill for. The money. Like any reasonable pirate, dude. Okay, see. Hey, were, were you a pirate at that point in time yet? Yep. Alright, bitches. Come on. You should upgrade those pistols. That whole non headshot, not killing thing is not gonna fly. I wasn't a headshot, by the way. I missed. I just shot him to wound him so he didn't ring the bell. <laughs> Get oh. off that bell. Hiya. What happened to the stealth part of this game, Colton? Come on. Stuff it up. I don't need stealth. <laughs> You're supposed to do that in Assassin's Creed? I thought it was just I'm a, destroy everyone. I'm a, I'm a pirate. Yeah. What part of stealth does pi pirate and stealth do not go together, Brad? No, they like hit the beach and are like, ah! Oh! You're, you're an assassin pirate. You're an assassin pirate. Am I am I an assassin? I don't last time I checked I wasn't an assassin. Yeah, they didn't want to have nothing to do with you like. Hmm. Maybe when I become an assassin, maybe I'll do it. You're not officially oh, an assassin, cool. but they do recognize you as like a descendant of Stabby McGillicuddy. Stabby McGillicuddy. Stabby Bagoo! And they recognize me as having the sight, which is having eagle. The sight. I kind of wonder what you were doing before all this with it. Yeah, ring the bell. Yeah, it has. There's a lot of chests on this island. Uh oh. Fuck you, kill you really right here. I know I'm gonna have to kill you later. <laughs> <laughs> 